This is a video that tells you how to fix the dynamic forms for SharePoint or DFFS forms that are uh, core to SP Marketplace applications lists. Um, after Microsoft made a change that impacts all custom forms, not just ours, um, in SharePoint uh, on August 7th, 2020. This is a video that shows you how to go about fixing this. You can also visit our site, spmarketplace.com slash spformsdffs to see specific instructions. Okay, first of all, how do you recognize you have this problem? If you are in one of our products uh, and you are would go to um, the sites and open up a list such as service requests here in our in this department and you were to either edit the form open the form or even just hit new forms you would see that the form does not come up it actually is the standard SharePoint form this is what Microsoft has changed they have actually uh, taken out the ability for SharePoint to automatically recognize that there is a custom form out there and um, it forces their form into it. Okay, we think this is totally irresponsible uh, and it's going to affect way more than just our products uh, here. And again, they're not thinking backwards to supporting things that uh, are out there. Most of the time they're very responsible about this, but um, this is just a developer and management that doesn't seem to care uh, about existing customers. Uh, and we try to work with that. We try to head these off. And uh, luckily, we do have a fix for this. So let me show you how to fix this. And you're going to have to apply this to every module separately uh, out here. But the nice thing is this fix will fix all the lists on the site. So you do this one time for each site. And you should never have the problem again. Okay, from our web page that I showed in the very beginning of the uh, video here, um, we are able to link to the developer site for DFFS forms. And um, luckily, we're on an early release program, and we were able to let him know uh, about a week and a half ago that uh, this may happen. We tried to work with Microsoft. We alerted them that there would be a, 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 a custom form problem. Quite frankly, they ignored it. Uh, and, and just went on. So we had to work uh, and very quickly create a fix. Uh, Alexander, who is uh, the main developer for the uh, product here, um, created a page, Fix Classic Form Fallback on Modern Lists. We have a link to this page. Um, the most important thing you can do on this page here, uh, it tells a little bit some, uh, about what what how to fix it here, but uh, the most important thing, if you are watching the video here, is to download this uh, script file. So you click here, you download it. Uh, I am downloading it uh, here. It's a zip file. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to go to uh, that file. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, open that file. It is right here. It is a zip. You do have to extract it. So if I extract it, um, I do that, and here is the file. Now, I'm going to open the file, and it's going to open it up in the notepad. So I double-click that, and oops, sorry, it's up here, and here it is. This is what opens up. Now, you don't need to understand anything. I don't understand. Uh, my developers do, but um, I don't understand anything about this. But the important thing is that you want to go in and you want to um, select all and you want to copy this. Okay, That's the first thing that you want to do. And keep that in your uh, clipboard and keep this open just in case you need it. So then we'll go into the next step and show you how to apply this. Okay. So one way you can get the form to work is to actually go down here on the list and say 
return to classic SharePoint. And so I'm going to go and I'm in the list view and I'm going to hit return to classic SharePoint. Okay, and it should look like this. Now, the next step um, that you need to do here is um, to go in and open the list item, and it'll show DFFS forms. So this is all you need to do. Now, as we saw earlier in the video here, I actually went to the um, DFFS developers site, and there is he has put in a fix um, for this in his site that is something that you can run to fix this, and it'll fix all lists in the site that use DFFS. Uh, I have downloaded that list, uh, as you saw earlier, and I've actually opened the item in Notepad and I'm going to copy the code that is uh, in this. So I'll actually go in and I've selected all of the code. This is his code. You don't need to necessarily understand what it does. Um, and I've copied this. And then what I have to do is go back to my screen. And this is where it gets a little bit technical, but uh, I'm not technical, I'm not a coder. Uh, I can follow these steps. So if you are in your browser here, which you will be, you go up to this side, and this is Edge. You will also see the same thing with, um, with uh, Chrome or other browsers. There will be either developer tools or more tools down here, or select tools. Okay, and I went up and clicked on the three dots or opened up the, uh, the different settings uh, up here and I was able to go and see more tools. I go over here and go to Developer Tools. That will bring up actually what's called the, de the Developer's Console. And you need to make sure you click on Console here. Okay, and then um, what I can do is there is a place that you can enter in information. This is where I'm going to paste that code. Okay, all the code is paste, pasted, then I hit enter. And what it does is it goes in and actually updates all the different lists in this site so that they will now work um, with this. So if I close this, Okay, and I go back to, I'm going to cancel out of this new form, and I go back to the list, the service request. I'm going to exit Classic Experience, and now let's try it in Modern Experience. And I hit New, and we see that DFFS Forms is now working again. You need to do this to every site Every, it would be every department, uh, every, the intranet, um, as well, the uh, projects, any other thing as well, too. Any SP Marketplace site. Now, if you're using DFFS um, yourself and you've built some custom uh, sites or that type of thing that's outside of our sites, you need to do the same thing to yours. This is an inconvenience. We don't like it. Um, and Microsoft really wasn't thinking in what they were doing. And um, we reported it to them. And we suggest that you log an issue with Microsoft about forms not loading um, and uh, so that they know. And they're going to have hundreds, maybe thousands of sites this impacts. Uh, they need to understand that when they put new things out, um, that... Uh, it can impact what's already been done. Uh, they don't seem to understand that always. We try to head, and in this case, we headed it off uh, and worked with uh, the DFFS developer and, again, have created this video to show you how to fix this. Uh, if this does not work for you, 
log a support request. Go to that page that was in the beginning of this um, video and log a support request with us and we will help you. But I encourage you, highly encourage you to also go in and log a support um, issue with Microsoft saying that your custom forms will not load. And anything that you need, go to our support page uh, on spmarketplace.com. And if you cannot get you know, what you need working here, log a support ticket with us. It's on the bottom of the page. And you can submit that. Thank you very much. Sorry for the inconvenience. We're here to help as much as we can. And once again, here is that link to that page on the bottom of this. Put in that um, link and it'll take you to our support page.